Okay, the last lightning talk before the coffee break is Betty. Uh, she is from Tampa, Florida, and she's going to talk about Microsoft App Center and using it to deploy React Native apps. Uh, interestingly, her last talk I've just learned was at Disney, which is an interesting place for a tech talk to be given, I thought. So yeah, here's Betty. Hello. OK, yes, I took a very long trip here. I have a lot of energy when I speak. So, and I know you guys have been sitting for a while. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm actually more nervous than the coffee that you're going to drink. Um, so I'm here to talk about uh, deployments with MS App Center. First, let me introduce myself. I am Betty Pierce. I'm a UI developer. Um, work for Agile Thought. I am a director for Women Who Code. Um, that's an international organization. We have a Tampa chapter. Uh, I am a trainer for Girl Develop It. We teach introductory classes um, for women and minorities. And we usually have men in our classes too, but they're the minority in our classes, which is fun. I'm a community advocate, and um, I really love sharing my passion for technology, and I really like sharing my passion to get more women developers. So how many female developers do we have here today? Like, raise it really high. Guys, come on. There's not many of us. There's not enough of us. Um, so I've, <laughs> I have four, five children. Um, they're, they're pictured there. This was from Disney. This is when we, we, I brought my children with me to Disney. And this is kind of my tagline. I am either cooking, coding, or cleaning. So, um, and I am a huge React Native evangelist in the Tampa Bay area, and I've brought um, really getting it out. There's a group of women, uh, soon to be React Native developers. When I was giving this talk, they actually came downstairs and said, hey, we're hiring 30 React Native developers. And they're like, do you have resumes? I'm like, they're just learning React Native. Come back in a couple months. So really be grateful that this is just a wonderful technology to, to master. There's a lot of jobs in demand for you. Um, so I also help the next generation of developers. This is uh, Girls Who Code. This is my first. I started chatting with our expo guys um, when I was going to teach uh, this, this class for, for girls. And um, they're 11 through 14, brought them in the office, and they spent the afternoon coding React Native in Snack. So it was really cool. All right, that's my community pitch. Please continue to support women, career changers coming into development, and teach everything you know. All right, let's dive into MS App Center. That's what we're here to talk about. Um, we're going to cover continuous integration, ant analytics, um, automated testing, E to E testing, um, and obviously how to distrib distribute it. And there's a really cool push notification that a lot of people don't know about yet. But first, it is a CLI. So you do have some prerequisites. You guys can read them. Um, I think the biggest thing is you do need to install CocoaPods for iOS. So you would need to start with React Native in it, or you'll have to eject it. Um, but once you do that, this is just a, a quick slide on the pod, and it's super easy. I actually went through this and made sure that I can do everything without actually opening up Android, or, excuse me, Android Studio or, uh, um, thank you, Xcode. <laughs> uh, I use MS App Center, so, excuse me, uh, Visual Studio, um, so you can change your, your files from there as well. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and just switch over and take a look at MS App Center. MS App Center is free for the first three months, so you can sign up and create an account. I'm already logged in. This is what I use as a demo, so you'll see lots of, of demo apps. This is going to be live coding, which is really exciting because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Not really coding, but live configurations. Um, so I've got two different organizations. We'll go ahead and create a new app. We'll call it app.js demo. Let's start with an iOS and React Native 
Pretty simple, looks pretty easy, right? All right, so here's the CLI commands that I was talking about. Here's where we're gonna install the App Center and you're gonna get your analytics and your crash reports. And then we're gonna to have to link it. So when I link it in the CLI, it's gonna prompt for an individual ID tag, right? Now I'm in the iOS build. There's two ID tags, one for iOS and one for Android. So I'm gonna co copy this and create another app for Android. Okay, so same thing, select Android, React Native. The CLI is gonna ask for the iOS key and the Android key, so I got both of those, so we're good. We're gonna move on to the next phase. Now we get to the build, this is the fun part. So I'm signed in to um, Azure DevOps, so what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna pull all of my Agile Thought repos. At Agile Thought, um, I'm over our develop practice. Um, they're kinda like doctors, we, we like to practice coding, I don't know. <laughs> so we have a develop practice and I help facilitate like what I do for women who code. We set up um, repos and, and test areas to help build all of our strengths as as consultants, we never know what project we're gonna be on next, so it's, we kind of play with everything. So I've got some there, but that's not what I'm gonna demo today. We'll do our GitHub. So it pulls in my GitHub. I'm gonna select one. Um, so here it pulls the first branch. If I had multiple branches, obviously I could see each branch. So let's configure the builds. I can give it my release name. Can you see this well enough? Yes, all right. Um, we can build automatic increment numbers. I like to do that. This is nice. Here's the unit test feature. This is gonna run NPM unit tests. So if you have all your unit tests in Jess, right, it'll run those. Um, then we have environmental variables. So you'll configure your QA environment, your dev environment, production environments. Then we have, this is really nice, we have our signed builds. So I can upload, I'm in the Android right now, but I can upload my configurations from my Android uh, store, right, the Android Play Store from here, and real devices. I'm gonna show that in the test area. So let's pretend I went through this, because I'm actually gonna switch over for time. I'm gonna switch over and show the iOS side, because the iOS has different ones for the distribute. What's nice about this is because we know, I can't talk and type, here we go. <laughs> Let's do a new release. Um, for here, oh there it is, I'm on build, sorry. Okay, I said it's like live theater, guys. All right, so I wanna do another build. These are all the previous builds that I've done. This is on iOS side, and I can kick off the build. And the key is actually in the distribute where I can add a new release. Oh, sorry, I'm in the, I wanna do the configuration screen here, just a second. All right, let me walk you through here after that one's done. All right, so for the, for the um, release, I can enter a bunch of email addresses for everyone. I can have different groups, so I can have my UAT group, my testing group from here too, right? And, then I have all of my releases. So that's the iOS, let me switch over. Sorry, it's a little confusing since I'm showing both the iOS and the Android builds at the same time. They're just a little bit different. So here I can configure the build. The iOS is, is uh, very similar. All right, let's go and talk about tests. So if I want to run real live end-to-end -end testing, um, MS App Center has over 2,500 real devices hooked up. So because I'm in Android, you can see all of the Android devices. I can make a collection of all the devices we're supporting and put them in a group here. Let's go ahead and select a few. And I have four options right now in MS App Center for the end-to-end -end test. You have the Ampium, the Calabash, Espresso, and the Xamarin. It's interesting that they have Xamarin tests for React Native, but okay. <laughs> so we can go forward 
And then here, again, it's using the power of the MS App Center for the CLIs, right? So I would install the App Center CLIs, and I have all the configurations there. So we'll go ahead and hit done. All right. But we need to get our app out. <laughs> we need to distribute it. So the, pow the power of MS App Center, I can have it build and, and build the API files, and, excuse me, the IPA files and, um, and the Android builds as well. I can actually upload them right here. If I, let's say I just wanted to do, I have kind of a wild idea, I build my own locally and I can distribute it directly through here as well. And I'm trying to, switch over and show the um, switch over and show the, the other one here. All right. So I have screenshots because what we build is um, B2B apps, so I can't show the client apps. So I've got some screenshots of when we do run the unit tests here. We get full reports from, from the screenshots. It tells you exactly which tests fail. It shows you which device it fails on. You can collect click a device and it will run and give you the details, the log, so I can see exactly where it fails and fix that quickly too. Then we can distribute it. When we distribute it through MS App Center, remember I showed you how you can put the email addresses? It sends an email to link to download it right here. So this is what it looks like um, for the Android as well. Let me switch back over to the MS App Center. So let me, there it is, the iOS build. Okay, so within each of the branches, I can configure, actually it's this cog, it's a little bit hidden here. There's a cog right here that will allow me to do the configurations for each one. So I'm in iOS. I can have my version, I can have my targeted iOS version here running the build scripts, increment them, again, environmental variables. And then I can have my build signs. Remember how I showed you the Android, the, the certifications? Here's where I would upload the certifications as well. So I have my provisioning um, profile that you get from your MS, excuse me, that you get from the, the Apple Development Center. And you do need to have an Apple developer license to distribute them via email in the MS App Center. You can just do your local provisioning and push it up directly to the APK. Um, but the beauty of doing the uh, continuous integration, I have everything set up. It knows which branch, and then I can automatically distribute, as long as the unit test pass, it'll automatically distribute that build via email to my testers, so it's sweet. And then I can have distribute builds right here, so I can select my test group from here. You can also distribute them directly to your test, to the store. You see the store link here? So there's a lot of configurations and a lot of settings and power I'd push code and think about you would have your proper environment, you have your develop environment, you QA. So as soon as everything's approved and developed, we're gonna push it to the QA branch and it does the automatic build and I get my emails there. So they can download it. All right, then we covered this. So the diagnostics, if you saw in the CLI, we did the diagnostics report. Um, I've got some screenshots of that. So this is the diagnostics to show when your app crashes. This will give you real time, you can actually get email notifications whenever your app crashes in production. So quickly find something and be alerted to it. You also have very powerful analytics. When I used to hook up analytics on UI projects, it was pretty brutal. This comes out of the box. It'll scan all of our React Native apps. It'll give analytics on the touch events. We hook them up from there. You can get your page views as well and then dig into each area to see what parts of your app is performing, what's not. So it's not just a deployment tool, it's so much more. But wait, there's more. There's push notifications. Uh, let me switch back over and show you some push notifications. There we go. All right, so push notifications, again, it's with the CLI, push uh, installed. Um, and then we can get the notifications. It actually uses, and the documentation, especially for Microsoft product, is really good. There's all kinds of links throughout MS App Center for the documentation. We have our own section, React Native. 
um, React Native, Android, and iOS. There is a little bit of you know, configurations, obviously, for each. Let me pull back here. There we go. All right, so the push notifications is a great tool. If you haven't done that already, you can schedule them through Firebase, actually. And you can set that up through here. The last part is the settings. Remember how I was talking about how we can get emails and notifications when things are crashing? We can set alerts from here. So those are in the email notifications area here. So I can get a build, the build succeeded, the build failed. I can go ahead and have things distributed immediately, daily. A lot of times QA wants their builds right when they come in in the morning. I can get notified of the crash reports and the unit tests. What I did with my team is I hooked up the webhooks. We actually use Slack, so I hooked up um, the webhooks to connect with Slack so they can see when the builds are distributed, they can see when um, the unit test fails, all that kind of thing. So it's pretty easy, right? Yes, yes, it's easy enough to get started. Um, that's really all I got to show. It's a hopefully enough to, it's free for the first three months. We only paid about, um, I think $20 a month once we went live with it. But thank you so much for your time. I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, if you have any questions, please see me later.